Hey guys, glory to God, the most high, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I hope everybody's doing well today. So today, guys, I want to do a teaching that the Lord has put in my heart. And I pray that you will also have a heart to receive what God is saying at this time. I pray that your hearts be open to the word of God. And I pray that your understanding will be enlightened. So if you can turn with me to 2 Samuel chapter 20, verse 1. And there happened to be there a man of Belial, whose name was Sheba, the son of Bekri, a Benjamite. And he blew a trumpet and said, We have no part in David, neither have we an inheritance in the son of Jesse. Every man to his tents, O Israel. What I would like to do is focus on Sheba. Now, Sheba was in rebellion. And by that, I mean he blew the trumpet and he announced to Israel and also Judah that they have no part in David. Now, during this time, David was king, and Sheba did not want to follow David any longer. He wanted Israel and Judah to not follow their king. And he made this very clear and very loudly by blowing the trumpet and announcing that they have a choice, either go and forsake David, the king, or follow Sheba. Unfortunately, Israel decided to follow Sheba, and Judah were going to stay with their king. They were going to be loyal to their king. So Judah decided to follow the king of David. So my topic is, there is going to be a great deserting. The great deserting. So, I also want to go to Galatians chapter 1, verse 6. It says, I am amazed that you are so quickly deserting him who called you by the grace of Christ for a different gospel. So, there are many people out there who are going to be deceived by a different gospel. And they're not going to be loyal to the true king, which is Jesus Christ. They're not going to accept the truth and be loyal to the true Messiah. Or I would say some people, some people are going to desert Jesus Christ, and they're going to follow a different gospel. And I call this gospel the watered-down gospel, as many call it, or the sugarcoat gospel, or the bubblegum gospel, gospel that it does not focus on truth or preach the truth, but makes uh, a way to um, satisfy the itching ears. So turn with me to Second Peter chapter two, verse 15. Second Peter, Chapter 2, verse 15 says, Which have forsaken the right way 
and are gone astray, following the way of Balaam, the son of Bozar, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. So there are many people who are going to forsake the right way. They're just going to leave. They're going to desert the truth. They're not going to want to follow righteousness, but the wages of unrighteousness. So people would call it, <clears throat> or maybe it's a little different, the great falling away um, of the true gospel. So the Lord was also telling me that you will know who, who are the true followers of the King Jesus. You will know the true followers of the King Jesus. There is a separation going on. You will know those who will forsake the Lord Jesus and follow a different teaching. They will follow a different gospel. They will follow a different uh, faith or maybe follow a different God. Sheba was a man of rebellion and he decided to lead Israel away from their King David. But only Judah was staying loyal to King David. There is a great deserting that is happening and that will happen you will know those who are of God and those who are not. Sheba was used by the enemy to deceive many to unrighteousness. And nowadays you are seeing people right now deceiving many to unrighteousness. The most important thing as a people of God, we need our eyes and our ears to be open, to have discernment, and to know the right way, not the wrong way. Sometimes we're going to have to go through some sufferings and some pain, but some people don't want to go through that pain. They don't want to experience loss. They don't want to go through sufferings because they want the easy way. And unfortunately, when you go through the easy way, Sometimes it will lead to follow the ungodly way, the unrighteous way. Being a true Christian, being a woman of God, a man of God, will require persecution, will require sacrifice. So remember, there is a great deserting now. With that being said, I pray that you are doing well and being blessed. In Jesus' name, shalom.